Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today it's all about fall fashion from Target. I found some cute pieces. There was one outfit that I had to have because I saw Dee Dee. Uh, it was a dress up Dee Dee. Saw her wear this outfit and I just had to try it on. So this is the outfit. First we have these skinny ankle pants and I picked up size six and I'm hoping, hoping these are gonna be a good length. They're supposed to be ankle style. And these ones retail for $29 and she paired it with this vest, sleeveless vest. I picked up size small for $35. And then I'm gonna pair this little cami I found on Amazon Target as well. It's this ribbed material, it's kind of thicker, and I feel like this would be a great layering piece. And this, I picked up in size small for $15. Now I'm gonna pair them with loafers. How nice are these, right? I saw her get the loafers from Target, but they were sold out in pretty much every single size. I think they restocked several sizes, but I got these ones from by Sam Edelman and they look really nice. Picked up my usual size in uh, size seven because I feel that most of their shoes run true to size, but let's put all this together. All right, Andre's exact words, this is bold. <laughs> I said it looks very preppy, very chic, and he said it's very bold <laughs> because I don't wear a color. <laughs> is it the pants? The plaid pants for you? Uh, yeah, it's just uh, because you have plaid and you have flat color, it's <laughs> noticeable. He said it's noticeable. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think every single piece has pluses and minuses. Starting with the pants, I think they're great. They're very stretchy, they're very comfortable. They don't really kind of suck you in, so. This little region, my mom pooch, and then um, the way the pants are lined, not lined, the way they're sewn together does not look flattering in the front, in my opinion. So I think wearing something longer to cover the front region actually looks really good. It's a plus that this vest jacket is long enough to cover my butt and my front region. But I will say the pants are extremely comfortable. I actually really like the zipper, the hidden zipper on the side. I like the elastic waistband so you can, you can, you know, eat a lot. They can kind of grow with you in a way. They're very, very comfortable. I like the colors, I like the material. I also like the length. I rolled them up just a tad to make them a little bit shorter. So you can kind of see more of my ankle and more of the shoes. The next thing underneath, I love, love these tank, to tank tops. They're not the best quality in terms of um, the material. You can easily snag it, but I think they're really great for layering like underneath these types of jackets, blazers. So I do like these and I like the price point and they do feel really, really nice. And I got multiple colors in these. The black one I got in a small, I think the rest of the colors I got in a medium just because I really wanted to see what the size was. And I do like the small because it kind of sucks you in and it feels good and I think they're really flattering. And I like that they're not too cropped. They cover my belly button, but they're not super long where you're gonna see the tank top underneath. Moving on to this vest slash blazer. I do like that there's actually a tiny bit of padding around the shoulders. It's not too intense where I look like a football player, but it's giving this vest a little bit of structure and I think that's what's really helping this vest. I do like the color, I do like the buttons. You can make these pockets. There's a little hole right here, You're, you could already start to make it actual pockets to put your stuff in, your arms, your hands, whatever. And another thing I do like in the back is that little flap, you just kind of take the lint, not the lint, what, what do you call it? You take the thread out to make the flap open, which I prefer to do in my jackets, coats, blazers, and I do love the length of this. So I do like this jacket. It's $39, it's the most expensive item. I think it's actually worth it. I like that you can open it up. I actually like it opened and closed with this outfit. I, I could see myself wearing this vest a lot this, this fall. Another thing, these shoes are very comfortable. They have this cushion on the inside. They are a tad heavier, but they are more of like that platform clunky shoes, but they don't sound clunky where you walk. But these shoes are very pretty. Like everyone's saying, loafers are the shoe for this season. You can dress them up and you can dress them down. Let's try the next outfit. Okay, so Andre goes, ooh, we got some bright colors. For this fall, I'm really into the faux leather like I was last year for like my pants, just my bottoms. And for the tops, I like to match them more with like chunky, cozier pieces. And I found these more of cropped cardigans and they looked so pretty online. And this is the other layering tank top that I got in size medium. 
and this is just the white color, $15. And then this right here is the cropped cardigan, size small, let's see. 28 i thought the price was actually really nice wasn't too expensive and i like that the sleeves are more balloon sleeves so a little bit you know more chunky more cozy and i just love the color it's kind of um first of all fuchsia then there's a little bit of like orange and i want to say black but charcoal very pretty and i do love the buttons the big buttons in the front and i just I love, I love this sweater. And then I'm gonna pair it with these faux leather uh, trousers. I'm hoping they're going to be cropped enough. Um, I picked up a size six, 30 US dollars, and the color is so flattering. It's nice, it's like a bone shade, but it just looks really nice. And they're very lightweight and I'm excited. And again, I'm gonna pair them with the loafers. Okay, both Andre and myself, we love the top portion of this outfit. We don't like the pants. Starting with the sweater, it is so soft. It's one of those sweaters where it kind of has like this plushy material. I honestly thought it was going to be so scratchy and just stiff and just not comfortable on, but it is actually very comfortable. You can, you can feel the sweater a little bit, a little bit scratchy, but honestly it's worth it because it's such a pretty sweater. And I think the color is so incredible for fall. I'm excited for like the leaves changing, this pop of color, mm, gorgeous. I think this sweater is gonna look beautiful with jeans, black jeans, um, shorts, and pair it with like boots, like right now when the weather is still nice outside. Pair it with a dress, a, a skirt. It's just a really beautiful sweater. And I do like the tank top underneath, and I'm actually glad I got a medium. It's not as form-fitting as the small. It doesn't really suck you in as much but I do like it, it feels really nice. Moving on to the pants. I like the idea of it, I like the color of them, but I think these pants are meant for someone that's taller, has longer legs. I am I have very short legs, I'm 5'3", but a lot of it is in my torso. <laughs> so I feel like because they're even like a medium rise, they're not making my legs look longer and more slim, they're kind of squashing me towards the bottom. I don't love them. They're also pretty loud when you walk. They're kind of sticking to my legs because it's hot. They're, they're those types of pants where it's that fake leather, vegan leather, whatever you want to call it, faux leather types of pants. They stick to you and they kind of make you feel stuffy. I also roll them up towards the bottom. They're actually really good quality for faux leather. I like the deep set pockets in the front. I like the pleating also in the front. It doesn't accentuate anything weird. I like that there's belt loops. It, they're very, very comfortable pants, but I just think they're meant for someone with longer legs. I'm gonna show you guys the difference with rolled and unrolled, so you can see it kind of covers most of my leg, and I think it doesn't look as flattering. But I do like them, but just not for me. So next, I got some tops that I'm gonna just pair with just white pair of jeans that I already own. This first one, I love the color. It's kind of like a periwinkle, right? But I picked up a size small, and this is 25 US dollars. So soft. Andre, feel how soft this is. Very soft. Isn't it? It's very plush. It's softer than the previous sweater, but it's also more lightweight. And I figured this one also be really good. It's not as long. It's a little bit more cropped, but not too, too cropped. Ooh, I didn't even notice this little detail. Well, that's pretty. But I figured that this would be really nice to layer as well with like a tank top underneath and pair it with jeans, sweater, maybe throw over a dress, um, shorts. And then I picked up this top. I saw Lauren, who was it, Lauren K. Sims. I wanted to pick up a size small, but they only had a medium available and I think it might fit, but it looks kind of a little bit more off shoulder. And this little shirt is $28 as well, but I love the rust color. It's a little bit more ruched. And then you have this nice little detail with the long sleeves really pretty and the last but not least another little sweater but this one is more kind of like an, like an eyelet like all those little cutouts i love the color as well i love the two-tone collar along with the bottom i just thought this was really pretty and i like the v-neck as well the kind of polo style sweater really pretty picked up a medium in this one and this one is also 28 dollars let's try them on i love this sweater honestly probably my favorite one besides the fuchsia sweater this right here is such a great staple piece for that transitional weather it is so lightweight but it also adds a nice warmth it's just it's so soft as well i'm impressed with the material i'm impressed with the quality 
It also has this kind of marbling effect. It's not marbled, but it has a two-tone. It's blue with this nice beigey cream white color. It's just very beautiful, and I can see myself layering this or just wearing it on its own with a pair of jeans, a skirt, throwing this over a dress. I just think it's really nice. You can wear it at a full length like I was showing you, and it has a nice full length. It's not completely cropped. It's definitely going over my belly button and a lot lower than that. You can also tuck it inside your bra and just kind of give it more of a cropped look, but not as frumpy. I just think the sweater is great, and I'm definitely keeping it because I think it's a great price. I like the color. I don't have anything like this in my closet for a little cardigan, and I love how lightweight it is. Okay, I like this top. I don't love it, I like it. Like I said, I picked up a size medium, but I feel like because it's a very forgiving type of a top with this ruching and elastic, you could definitely stick with your true size or go up one size like I did and have it be a little bit more roomy. But honestly, this, I could see myself, I could see the shirt growing with me if I were to get pregnant again or if I have like a food belly, baby belly, whatever it is. But it's a very forgiving shirt and I do like that it's a little bit cropped, but it's not super cropped where I raise my hands and my belly button is showing. So I do appreciate that fact. Another thing, I, I don't know if I like it, but the sleeves, they feel very um, uneven. <laughs> My right sleeve feels shorter than my left sleeve and they're kind of riding up. It has a weird fit right here just because it's elast it has elastic but the sleeves feel very, very uneven. I feel like if I were to keep this, I would, it would just bother me nonstop if I would wear this all day long. Another thing that's bothering me is this right here. This. I don't even know if an iron would help or fix this. I just think it's like that. It's just stuck in this position. But yeah, I do like the neckline. I like that it's a nice square neckline. It's very wide, so you do have to wear either a strapless bra or just go braless. That's what you prefer. But yeah, I have to kind of, I just took my straps kind of off shoulder. But I think it's a pretty shirt. The color is very, very pretty in person. And I like this, I like this shirt actually better in person but I don't like the sleeves and they're, yeah, they're just bothering me. Do we like it? He likes Andre? Like it. He likes the color. <laughs> I love the sweater. We had great luck with our tops. I'm impressed with the quality. I love the detailing. I love that it has a nice kind of like a heavyweight feel, but it's also very lightweight. It's very breezy. I don't have anything underneath here like a layering tank top. I just have my bra and I think it looks totally fine. It's not, I'm not exposed and I'm not showing too much skin, but it still feels very breathy. Breathy? Breezy. <laughs> One thing I like about this sweater is the collar and the little V-neck. I think everything just looks, looks very chic, preppy, but still very casual. I can wear this with ripped jeans or I could wear this with trousers with heels and go off to like a dinner or date or just make it a little bit more dressed up or really dress it down. I'm impressed. I like this sweater. I like most of my sweaters and those layering tank tops and that vest. What do you think of this sweater? I, mean, I like the sweater more than all the other ones. Really? Even yeah. the pink one and yeah. the blue one? Yeah. Wow, well there you go. This is Andre's favorite. I'm gonna leave it here. I think there's some really great pieces, but it's also a lot of times it's a hit and a miss for me just because if you're buying things online and you're not trying it in store, sometimes they look frumpy, sometimes they're too short, sometimes they're too long, they don't fit well, but I'm actually impressed that a lot of this stuff actually fit pretty true to size and I am happy. One thing I will say about this sweater, like I said, I got a medium and I think I'm happy that I got a medium. It's a little bit oversized because it is a little bit more cropped, but it's not cropped to a point where, again, if I raise my hands, my arms, my belly button's not showing. That's kind of how I test how too cropped it is or if it's cropped enough. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy with a lot of these tops and sweaters. Thank you for watching, spending time with me and Andre, and we'll see the next one very soon. Bye.